what is up guys welcome back to mr tech boss as you can see we finally have an oxygen os port on our redmi k20 pro with the working fingerprint sensor and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to install this so stay tuned till the end So firstly, let's get into the about phone. As you can see, it is um, the latest Oxygen OS 10 beta. So OnePlus 70 Pro, uh, Oxygen O2 beta 8. And so if you go into Android version, as you can see is the September security patch, which I guess is good enough. And the kernel I'm using is the one that you should be using with this ROM. And that is Genos R1. This is the first uh, first build or first, first release. So yeah. So other than that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to do so right now. And if you if you like the video, uh, do drop a like as well. But anyway, uh, let's get into some other basic stuff. So uh, the customization and stuff, it's the same as any Oxygen OS phone or running Oxygen OS 10 specifically. So you have a lot of things you can customize here. You can customize the look of the, the shape and stuff like that and icon pack. You can obviously change the icon pack to whatever you want to because the OnePlus launcher does support that um, any icon pack. So you, if you want to change the icon pack, you just go here to settings and then icon pack and then choose whatever you want to. And then other than that, uh, we have the latest version of the Oxygen OS launcher. So you have this really cool thing right here. But uh, let's move on to what works and what doesn't. So as you already saw, that fingerprint sensor does work and it works, I guess it works reliable enough. Sometimes it doesn't work at all and then you have to use the fingerprint sensor to, to unlock. As you can see, it didn't work that time. Now it should work. And there's a lot of flickering here. This is the first, first iteration of the fix. So hopefully in future, it should be fixed. So as you can see, when I turn the on display is really dim. Sometimes that's fine, just do a reboot and then it's going to be fine, but it's going to happen again. So just don't bother that, just use it like so. And sometimes, as you can see, it just doesn't work at all. So it is not that accurate yet, but I guess it's something's better than nothing because now the other good part about this ROM is Oxygen OS is really smooth. It's smoother than most ASP ROMs. I wouldn't say it's smoother than, say, um, Paranoid Android because that's a CF based ROM, but it is pretty darn smooth. So yeah, in fact, let's do a quick super fast app opening test. So if I'll open a bunch of apps here, and then as you can see, there are no frame drops. I'm actually recording this at 60 FPS because I wanted you guys to see how smooth the ROM is. So make sure to watch in 60 FPS, hopefully, if you have a good internet at least. Maybe 720 at 60 even is good enough. But yeah, as you can see, there are no frame drops. Like it's probably one of the smoothest ROMs, if not the smoothest uh, I have used on a Redmi K20 Pro. And that's maybe because of the kernel, but mostly just because it's Oxygen OS. Also, if you are finding that the fingerprint unlock it, it is a bit, um, is just a bit uh, wonky and it just sometimes doesn't work, you can use face unlock as well. And this works perfectly as well. All right, so guys, with that being said, um, if you're wondering what uh, bugs are there and as I said, there's one fingerprint bug So actually let's again do a super fast fingerprint test if that makes sense uh, I just want to show you guys how fast it unlocks and as you can see there is some delay when you turn off the screen and try to turn it on Again immediately. So there is some delay. I'm gonna wait a few seconds as you can see it is There is a delay. It's still a bit buggy, but it's the initial build so we shouldn't be complaining much anyway but um, other than that NFC does not work at all so it should be fixed in the next build as the dev promised so other than that uh, VO Wi-Fi works as well which is a huge thing so if I call say Airtel as you can see calling via Wi-Fi Airtel call and carrier video call works as well I did try it out I'm not gonna do it right now but it does work and I'm using Airtel and obviously it works with any broadband. The Wi-Fi wi should work whatever broadband you have. So yeah, you, and this is a bug on many AOS PROMs. So I'm actually surprised that it works on a port, but yeah, it's a really good thing that it does work. 
So other than that, I didn't find any bugs as such. The brightness slider works as well and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi is supposedly fixed as well. I'm not going to be able to test it right now because I'm a bit away from home. So I won't be able to test that but you do, other than that, you don't have any bugs that I noticed so far. You can um, change the vibration and I guess the haptic, this part is still dead right now and uh, the haptics, this just reminded me, the haptics, they're not that good yet. So hopefully that will be fixed in the next build because it's just not good yet and I'll talk to the devs about this hopefully they'll do something but you can see um, you have all the OnePlus goodies here and Dolby Atmos I don't really know about much about this uh, but it is there I'm not sure if it works and now if you're wondering what about the safety net status so let me show you guys it does actually pass, both of them pass it. But uh, what you need to do in order to actually make this work is go into settings. Uh, let me check the focus. Go into settings, enable Magisk Hide, and then maybe do a reboot and then test again, then it should work. And then if you wanna use any banking apps, go here, enable Magisk Hide, and then use it, just hide it from whatever app you, you wanna use, and then it should work it shouldn't say that your device is rooted or anything like that and now lastly uh, i'm going to show you guys the geekbench score so firstly i'll open this uh, app that uh, you can download from the description this is going to be used to control the the profiles of the kernel and then if i set it to performance and then go back um let's go back here and then it should be performance yep and then Geekbench, let's do a CPU benchmark. I'll just let it run and I'll be back in a second. Right, so guys, here are the scores. They're pretty good, I would say. But um, yeah, that is basically about it. I'm not gonna be doing the Antutu scores. It's just, I don't wanna <laughs> download the APK. It's not even on the Play Store, but whatever. So uh, that is uh, basically about it. If you're wondering about the battery life, I don't know much because I installed it yesterday and I wasn't able to use it a lot because it was night when I installed it and so this does look a bit um, so it's I, I mean I flashed stuff I rebooted so so this doesn't matter so so this data isn't that useful right now but yeah you should expect at least seven to eight hours I would say but that's just my predictions so don't take uh, it like I'll get this much but that should be something um, you want to try it on your own because usage is different for almost everyone and NFC as I already mentioned does not work and this everything else does seem to be working Bluetooth works um, so yeah and uh, other than that there is not much to talk about Zen mode it does work as well I'm not gonna enable it now obviously all right so guys there's a few more things that i need to talk about and that is firstly the alert slider so you just open this app and emulate one plus slider and then just add the toggle you should find this um somewhere here and then this is how it looks like so if you press it uh it says vibrate and it does actually work so yeah and by the way um now talking about the camera you do need to use a specific version of google camera and there is an ANX version, but I just recommend Google Camera. And if you do want to ask me questions on how to install ANX and stuff, just ask me on my Telegram group, which is linked down in the description. And you need to use this XML, NGCam1 XML. So if I restore that, uh, my camera works and records everything at 4K at 60 as well. So I can record 4K 60. As you can see, it is pretty smooth, but there is no stabilization, of course. So yeah, keep that in mind. And lastly, uh, there's one more thing uh, that is, okay, Google, it does work. So let's say, hey, Google, okay, Google, as you can see, it does work. But um, yeah, and now that is uh, basically about it. All right, so guys, the installation is actually pretty simple. So if you are encrypted, the first thing you need to do is go ahead into menu, then manage partitions, then click on data, and then click on it and then format data and then just press yes and then after that you need to go here into wipe then system delve cache data and render all these first five things select them and then swipe to wipe and after that um, you need to down copy the three files from your otg usb or your computer or whatever firstly flash the vendor after that's done flashing you can add to queue as well but let me just show you this way so vendor and then flash system 
and then flash genos r genos r field r1 and this is the kernel and then once that's done you need to go back go back and go back and flash dfe as well and if you're decrypted and coming from another norm you need to flash pass reset as well just make sure you do this these steps properly but once you're done just click on reboot to system and then it should boot maybe it'll take four or five minutes for the first boot and if it's not booting and you were decrypted just format data it's probably because of that um, you maybe some mistake made some error but it's just to, better to do a clean flash and after that you can also flash any migrate backup if you want to but guys that is basically about it if you do have any questions feel free to ask them down in the comments below and make sure to like this video also if you have any more specific questions you can also contact me on my telegram group for more personal support but uh, that is basically about it um, and this is Fuzal Hamid from Mr. Tech Boss signing off